may we invite on stage Mr. Mundra for the most awaited fireside chat. Welcome back. So I'll start with the first uh, obvious question is what happened? What went wrong actually? Is it post Lehman, you know, we told the world that we are not affected because only for two quarters our economic growth dipped a bit and not compared to others and there was a huge stimulus. Is that the reason uh, that banks, go, banks were goaded to lend? Or the reason is post Lehman again, people who are reluctant to keep money with private sectors, but public sector is the darling, so there are lots of money, and then misallocation of capital. Where, where exactly we went wrong? If you look at the economy from 2004 to 2009, it was almost touching a double-digit growth. Post-2010, uh, we all know what happened, and, and there was a slowdown. That was one thing. That was also the time when the PPP model was introduced in the country. It was appearing to be a very promising model. So that was the second thing. And the, the, the third point is that uh, the bankers were having good liquidity. There was a search for revenue. It was appearing to be a promising uh, area where the lending can be done. And also from the perspective of a number of lenders, where the dispersed lending was becoming difficult for a variety of reasons at the branch outlets, I think it was also one of the easiest method of uh, doing the big ticket lending, showing a good growth rate, which is primarily driven from the controlling office. So these were all the combination. So I think if I put everything in perspective, policy, direction, and implementation uh, would have an important role in what we have we are seeing today. But that being the case, I am not telling. Simultaneously, there were case of the promoters, and as it was mentioned, over leveraging, trying to put a project with a very thin equity. And uh, what came in the shape of equity, whether it was actually debt only. So you can say, in a sense, some of the projects were almost fully debt funded. That is where I would say bankers probably failed to see it. On the banker's part, whatever might have been the growth rate, but try to think that a project which has a 25 or 30 year life can be repaired in 10 or 12 years, the kind of projections which are uh, presented and accepted, so there was a problem. Now what we have seen, policy direction has always been very good, and policy directions continue to be very good, but there are difficulties at the time of execution. And I think the, the expert practitioners are always in a position to find how a policy is cannot not to be implemented. So, so the interesting thought which uh, is coming to me, probably time has come that before a policy is put to implementation, we should have the ethical policy hackers who should be who should be first put to the job that how a policy can be. You know, you can find a uh, hole in the policy and see that it is not implemented. How do you envisage? Reserve Bank of India playing its role in this NPA resolution? Uh, well, uh, one thing is, is a work in progress, uh, but what Rajnish has mentioned, I, I have no uh, quarrel or dispute with that. Actually, uh, this is uh, really not the business of Reserve Bank of India. And uh, let me also tell you that even going forward with the ordinance, uh, we have no intention of, uh, you know, entering into the driver's seat and uh, ask the bankers to become the either the pillion rider and say that we will be driving. That is not the idea. Probably what we can do is, is if I put an analogy, to kind of perform the role of a priest, where the, all the preparations are there, enabling mechanism are there. Uh, we probably are trying to only bring one thing, because if you find that in the old days, Indian marriages were very uh, particular about the muhurtam. And, and uh, marriages always used to happen at the assigned muhurtam, at least not in South so much. I think South is still disciplined in that, like in so many other things. But, but North, I think muhurtam has gone to a toss. And uh, uh, I think here, apart from all other usual uh, festivity of marriage, with all this, probably we'll try to ensure that this marriage which is going to happen 
should happen at the right muhurtam. So that time discipline is something which would be a major differentiator uh, from the previous situation and what it is now. It's a push and nudge and uh, that, that's the kind of thing. You will not play any active role in choosing what is to be done, you will not tell them. Uh, actually, uh, it's, it's not going to be a prescription okay, that, that this is what you are required to do. But yes, processes are laid down. Uh, we would like to ensure that processes are followed and what other enablers are required for the process, they are in place, including right. oversight committee or, or whatever it right. is. So, thank you. Give him a big hand.